Welcome back to the Middleton Motorsports channel. We're doing five things that I didn't really know was on the Mustang until I started driving it and things I didn't see talked about. So we're gonna go through those right now. All right, let's hop in. I can go over the first couple things here. It's not on the list, but that noise kind of gets to me a little bit. <laughs> doot, 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 doot. All right, so the, the biggest thing that we that I found that was like to me is mind-boggling that no one has done this yet, at least in a Mustang. If you look up in here, there's a USB port um, that's already built in. So if you have a radar detector or for my case, when we go to Road America, we're gonna hook up the Garmin and use that power outlet. So we don't have to have wires running down to here, which you know they have plenty of USB ports and stuff like that. But having it up here um, is definitely gonna make a game changer. So that's number one. I think one of the coolest features no one's talking about. All right, number two, uh, hit this Mustang button down here. Brings you up to these gauges, which is really cool. So it starts out, you can have your brake and accelerometer. Um, you can have three gauges or five gauges. Cool thing is you can customize all of them. Engine, accelerometer, air fuel ratio, axle temperature, cylinder head temp, engine oil pressure, inlet air temperature, vacuum battery voltage back to engine oil temp and accelerometer you can change the big gauge in the middle to whatever you want i see that becoming more valuable as you would you know get more aftermarket if we're going to put a whipple on here and stuff and you want to see more of the um more of the gauge like how the temperature of the transmission the axle all that kind of stuff i mean with stock the whole thing just takes care of itself but it's cool to see these gauges so We'll see how those work at Road America and see how many G's we can get in braking and all that kind of stuff. Number three, these lights. Every time you unlock it, it goes through a pretty cool sequence of uh, lights. At night it's really bright, but it gives you this whole little show. Cool thing is it does the same thing on the back. And in the back. Pretty cool feature. At night, it's like literally when it's dark, it, it lights up everything, so it's pretty cool. And people, it's gonna draw attention for sure. But one of those things, unless you're outside hitting the unlock, you don't know that feature's there. Number four, this is like an Easter egg, not really much of a performance, but it looks really cool. Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, Gen 6, Gen 7 Mustangs all in the back. Kind of seamlessly is in there. You think one of those things you don't notice it until you're washing the window, but really cool. I think it's kind of pays, you know, back to his heritage of all the different cars, and I think it's a cool touch, so. All right, number five. We got these aerodynamic uh, wind deflectors underneath the car. It's going to pull air out from underneath the car and give us more downforce. Most people haven't, I haven't seen much about talking about them, but I wanted to at least show what comes on the handling pack. Got two more things that come with the handling pack. Let's go check those out right now. Bonus feature, gurney flap. This whole piece bolts in. It's gonna give you a lot more downforce on the track. We're gonna test that out uh, next Friday. Let's make sure you're there for the content. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and we got these adjustable strut tower mounts also with a handling package already installed on the car. We just have to do the adjustments. We'll show you how to do that in our track prep video coming up uh, next week as we prepare for Road America. So thanks for sticking around and watching the five things that you uh, maybe didn't know about on the S650 Dark Horse. And uh, we'll have more content coming up. Make sure you subscribe and uh, do all the YouTube stuff because that helps us out. And we'll uh, see you in the next episode.